Hello guys, welcome to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more Civil Engineering updates. So today our topic is about the uh, factor of safety. What is factor of safety? It's a very important technical term used in civil engineering structures. So uh, let's go to define and uh, let's explain this factor, uh, factor of safety term. The factor of safety is usually represented by the FOS and it's equal to the formalized uh, capacity of the structure to the demand on the structure. The factor of safety is usually made of two components. We can say two major components. And we can say major two terms. A capacity as well as the demand. Dividing these two uh, uh, terms on one another, we get the factor of safety. So the factor of safety uh, is really important to know about how much your structure is, is on the safe side as compared to the load. Right? So the capacity uh, is, uh, is, the, is, the, is the structure, its own properties. It, it mainly depends on the geometry of the structure, geometry, uh, your material strength, the two main properties, right? One is the geometry and number two is the material. And the demand is totally uh, the load coming on the loading on any structure. And any structure we call is the demand. The demand means uh, the load coming on the in structure we call is the demand. So dividing the capacity by the demand we get the factor of safety, right? So and the factor of safety, remember that the factor of safety for our civil engineering structure should always be greater than one. And it is uh, ranges from factor of safety ranges from uh, one uh, to uh, twelve and civil engineering structures more mainly. But it depends also on the importance of your structure. For example, your ordinary homes may have a factor of safety of a two or maybe one. But uh, in case of the multi-story building, your factor of safety may be two or 2.5, right? In this case, uh, in the case of the uh, huge bridge structure or something we t in the piling, in the piling foundation, we take the factor of safety maybe 3.5 or three. But it depends on, on the importance of your structure. The factor of safety totally depends on the importance of your structure, how the structure is very important. Now, let's come to the uh, capacity and the demand. What's capacity? I already discussed it. The, uh, I will explain this by taking an example of a beam, right? And so on engineering structure, we are going to take the example of beam and we will now explain this. For example, I'm taking an example of beam. This is a beam, right? And the load is coming on it is some load is coming on this beam. This is a length L beam. So the factor of safety uh, on the beam is, is defined as early as the capacity to the demand on the beam. I'm taking just an example to explain the factor of safety terminology. So the capacity of the beam is I discussed, it depends totally on the uh, two factors. What are the two factors? Number one is the geometry of the beam. What the geometry of the beam is. For example, this is a beam. So what geometrical properties of this beam is? And number two is the material. Of which material the beam is composed? For example, it may be a con reinforced concrete beam, reinforced concrete beam, or it may be steel beam, or whatever. Right? We have the two options. I mean whatever. And the geometry. The geometry of the beam is means how much the width, uh, the width B and how much the depth of the beam is. So uh, depth D of the beam is. The geometry uh, depends on the two factors as well. Uh, and the material in this case, it may be the reinforced concrete beam or maybe steel beam or it may be wood beam. Right? Maybe aluminum beam, different types of beam are there. So its capacity will totally depend on the geometry, what its size, what the dimension of this beam and what are the property and what are the material this beam is composed of. So there are the two uh, main uh, components and the capacity of the beam. And now the demand. The demand totally depends on the loads uh, coming on the beam. It may be the dead load of the beam itself. Dead load, right? right? It may be the live load coming on the beam. It may be the wind load coming on the beam. Later load, we care. It may be earthquake load coming on the beam. So we take all these consideration of beam into demand. So dividing this capacity and the demand, we get the factor of safety. 
And factor of safety should always be greater than 1. Why? Because your capacity of the beam must be greater than the demand. If your capacity is greater than the demand, it means your structure is safe. But how much safe? It depends on your number. How much you want to greater that? So just by increasing the capacity, you have to uh, increase the geometry of the beam. You have to change the material, good quality material, high strength concrete you should use, and your capacity will be greater than the demand. So your, your high wheels in the numerator will get the high wheels of the factor of safety. So the factor of safety totally depends on the uh, importance of the structure. Uh, I will write it here, importance of structure. How much your structure is important, importance of structure. It's really important in civil engineering terms. For example, I already discussed it uh, uh, in some foundation, we have take more, more factor of safety as compared to the superstructure. Why? Because footing is more important as compared to the upper floor of the building. So we take into consideration the more factor of safety and the uh, foundation. All right? Uh, this was all about the factor of safety. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering updates. and. Thank you for watching our video.